Good morning, miners. This is Gerza Sanchez for the Prospector News Weekly. Today's date is April 14, 2017. The Office of Student and Conduct and Conflict Resolution is hosting a series of events for Sexual Assault Awareness Month. This series features discussions and activities to engage students with one another and preparing them to be the voice of this topic. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month and we want to provide the education and prevention, the knowledge and the resources to all of our campus community, which includes our students, our staff and our faculty, to come and learn and come and get involved. This year our, net, our theme is Engaging New Voices and we definitely want to engage uh, all, the, all of our individuals that come, to come and share their experiences, their stories, um, and learn from each other throughout the month. Next week, the program will continue with our workshop 1 in 16, which focuses on male victims of sexual assault and trauma and recovery process. This will be from 1 to 3 p.m. on April the 17th in the Bomber Auditorium, located on the first floor of the library. And from 10 to 11 a.m. on April 19th, a discussion will be given about the signs of an unhealthy relationship. It will take place in the Andeside Room 102B on the first floor of the Union East Building. A sexual assault awareness talk, Vita Voice, will take place from 2 to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, April 19th, starting at Centennial Plaza. So we have the MSSC, which is the Military Student Success Center, which will bring the 1 in 16 workshop, which is we know that it doesn't just happen to women. So we are having a male sexual trauma and recovery uh, workshop. So we're bringing out everyone from the students. We want students to come. Um, we want them to uh, open that discussion that it just doesn't happen to women. And if you know someone, uh, a male, that has been through something, this is where they, it's a workshop to know to create that conversation and to create that difference that it's not just happening to women. As well, we have the Bad Romance to show um, what the, that's April 19th to show what the unhealthy signs are in a relationship and what's healthy in a relationship um, between students here on campus and everyone, just to keep that conversation going and know that this isn't right that happens between you and your partner. And then as well, we have April 19th, we have Be The Voice Walk, which is a walk around campus to prevent, um, to make a change. So we want our students to come out and join us to say, I'm walking with survivors, I'm walking because I'm standing up against sexual assault. Also coming up on campus, Students Green Team, Youth of Green Fund, Environmental Advocates, SGA, and the Student Engagement Leadership Center present Earth Week 2017. They are preparing events to educate students in their social responsibility toward the environment for this year's Earth Week. This goes from April 19th up to the 23rd. Earth Week is our main event to promote and foster environmental stewardship across the student body. We want to do this by advocacy and education and also very inclusive events that are free and available to all majors. One of our goals in the Students Green Team is to incorporate interdisciplinary practices um, that will really lead sustainability to people of all majors. It doesn't just need to be biology people who care about this. It's got to be marketing, it's got to be business. Everybody needs to start caring about the world. It starts with a planting party from 10 to 2 p.m. on April 19th at Lynch Grove. You can help plant while enjoying live music. If you want to learn about how technology can improve the environment, the option for you would be the Geo Eco Sciences Fair. This is presented by the Geology Department, and you can find drones exhibitions and even a cooking contest. This will be from 9 to 2 p.m. at the Geology Lawn, located inside the Geology Sciences Building. The actual uh, first event launching will be led by the Office of Student Life. Um, so, the Office of Student Life is coordinating Arbor Day Planting Party, which is a collaboration with Facilities Services, and they're going to be planting all kinds of different flowery green stuff over at Leech Grove, and there will also be a band, and giveaways, and all that good stuff that OSL does. Geology is doing their own sort of Earth Week Day, also on the 19th. It's called the Geological Sciences Fair and they'll be having like a drone exhibit, a solar hot dog cooking contest or something like that. And it's gonna be great, so you can just go and learn more about how geological sciences and uh, environmentalism relate with the whole climate issues and stuff. Up next, we have Gloria Heredia with more Earth Week events. 
To end the first day of Earth Week, a dinner will be held from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Thomas Roberta Conference Center in the Union East Building. This is a place where students can learn about sustainability and to talk about UTEP's new Echo Takeouts programs will be given. We will be having a discussion, table topics relating to, again, consumerism, and mainly how nature impacts yourself and how you can impact nature because we know that um, being exposed to nature is beneficial for every single part of your body, from your brain to your immune system, and we really want to motivate um, people, young people, and um, faculty and staff to help incorporate all these ideas into their classes so we can get more exposure to nature. The next day, Earth Week continues with Sustainability Symposium where local organizations and representatives from the Cutting Edge Green Research Program at UTEP will lead the discussion. It will be held from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on April the 20th at the Union Plaza. Following the panel, the Young Democratic Socialists will present a discussion on intersectional environmentalism that will start at 3 p.m. in the room 323 from Liberal Arts Building. It relates a bit to what we did last November, the Sustainability Expo, the Presidential Advisory Committee of Sustainability. So it again is going to be like a resource fair for students to know about external entities that are relating to going green majors are interested in, in that, they can find internships or positions with these uh, corporations, etc. And we'll also be showcasing some research of excellent uh, experiments and progress that we've done for environmental science, and chemistry, and geology here at UTEP. Then on April 21st, a banner making party will be held from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Honors House. In there, students will make posters advocating for climate facts and policy on preparation for El Paso March for Science, which will take place this upcoming March 22nd. You've probably all heard there is a Scientists March happening at Washington, and there's going to be an El Paso version of that uh, at San Jacinto Plaza. So we want to uh, have a way to let people um, students make their own banners for that, um, give them ideas what to put, and of course recycled materials because a lot of the protests that we've been seeing around uh, downtown have actually created more waste and more harm than they've actually benefited as far as lawmaking goes. So we really want to um, incorporate a healthy and happy way to be politically active out there. Finalizing Earth Week a Echo Hackathon will be presented from the student organization Engineers Without Borders and CERN. This will be presenting their program Delta and motivating students to participate in a new way of recycling. Now let's go with Mike Flores with sports. The UTEP track and field team will finish the Mount Sac Distance Carnival today in Walnut, California. And tomorrow they will compete at the UCLA Invitational in Los Angeles. Three student athletes on the team all earned Conference USA Athlete of the Week honors in their own events last week, starting with the sophomore hurdler Toby Amusan, the junior Lucia Mokrasava, and the freshman Michael Serrani. In tennis, UTEP begins their last home event of the year against rival NMSU. The minors who are dealing with a lot of injuries and only play with four players last event are ice cold with five straight losses and three shutouts by Iowa State, New Mexico, and UTSA. And also today, the UTEP softball team will begin their three-game away series against the top team in Conference USA West Division, Louisiana Tech. UTEP sits in last place at 5 and 10 in conference. For more sports updates, follow us on Twitter at UTEP underscore prospecting. They won. They won.